Well, Tucker Carson got shit canned. <laughs> man got dumped, man. Several reasons why he got dumped, why I think he got dumped. So, first off, you have the Independent right here, a liberal news outlet, pretty much celebrating the fact that he got fired. So, let's see here. Uh, after the dueling choruses of doomsayers and giddy celebrants died down on Monday, the question of why Tucker Carson was reportedly fired uh, still lingered. While there is no definitive answer to that question at the moment, there are a few contenders that, in part or in full, may explain why the conservative news network acts its biggest star without giving them so much as a goodbye tweet. Hmm. <laughs> we know why he shit canned. But first, the context. Fox News, Fox News announced it was uh, parting ways with Carson in a statement on Monday. The statement confirmed that Carson's last show occurred the preceding Friday, which ended with him eating pizza with a Pennsylvania delivery man, Tyler Morrow who was honored after he helped police stop a suspected car thief. At the end of the segment, Tucker told his viewers he would see them again on Monday. Hmm. Well, that wasn't going to happen because they knew they were going to fire him. Even, even before his last show, they knew they were going to fire him. You know the moment they knew uh, they were going to fire him? He's been a torn in the flesh for a while. It's been hard. It's been very hard for him to fire him all this while because he's the Akash cow. He's the single most popular anchor on Fox because he actually does news. He's an actual journalist. Love him or hate him. He's an actual journalist. Like he gets it wrong with the whole China thing, but still he does journalism. The rest of them do propaganda. They don't do journalism. The rest of them do propaganda. So but you can have you cannot have someone that actually does journalism in the corporate news media. You cannot, because they're all after their bottom line. Like you could see like, perfect example of this was during this pandemic. You see what happened? Everyone was like lockstep behind the status quo. And if you go, if you deviate from that line, oof, you get disciplined real fast. Well, of, and of course, the usual suspects are like celebrating his "quote unquote" demise, but it's not—it's not really his demise because it's going to come back a lot stronger. Because, like, see what Spotify did with jo uh, Joe Rogan. Like Tucker Carson is like the Joe Rogan of the—I wouldn't say he's he's all right. Oh, uh, I don't say I don't say he's off right. He's just right. He's not far right or whatever. He's just he's just a right wing conservative media analyst. That's that's what he is. Well, I still prefer him to Don Lemon though. What Don Lemon? What a, what a dickhead. So of course the usual liberal news media like celebrating that he got fired. And they're not celebrating the same, they're not keeping the same energy with Don Lemon being fired, though. <laughs> Everyone's taking sides. It's just stupid. This people are not, this, Americans news outlets are not actual journalism outlets. They're propaganda networks. If you want to get real news, solid news, you have to go the alternative route. Go to independent media. All right, let's see uh, Jimmy Kimmel over here celebrating the fact that Tucker got, Tucker got fired. Was said to be stunned by the move. It reportedly was in the middle of renegotiating his contract. Someone released a photograph of Tucker's face the moment he found out he was being fired, and you can see he was <laughs> surprised, to say the least. Tucker couldn't be reached for comment. He's already on a plane to Moscow to meet with his manager. But what a shock. I mean, what an absolutely delightful shock this is. They say... Delightful shock. He's not a comedian, by the way. 
he stopped being a comedian a long time ago. He's just a left-wing news media propagandist. That's what he is. Him, the other guy, uh, Bill Maher, they all like that's uh, all tool for the Democratic Party. This is the main reason. This, I think, my opinion. Everything in this video is my opinion. I'm not trying to convince anybody to like, you know, follow my way of thinking or whatever. No, just a disclaimer. This is my opinion. This is why I think he got fired. He had RFK on. Bobby Kennedy Jr. And you can't have <laughs> you can't have people being nostalgic and start wanting the glory days back and getting the idea, oh, we're gonna vote RFK into power and maybe let's give the Kennedys a chance again. Let them try let's see if they can fix it. Because Trump said it was gonna fix some something, but it ended up just being all talk and no action. Trump didn't do nothing. Drain swamp. Swamp is still like as toxic as ever. He never did nothing. Wall, what wall? He didn't build one single brick. So, but this guy is actually making sense. He's actually speaking for the middle class, for the common man. He's, he's got like that old school Kennedy vibe. And it's not down with the system. But here you have Tucker Carlson, which is like, again, the biggest by far media analyst on mainstream media, bringing RFK on, giving him a platform for his campaign for the presidency. So of course, I'm not gonna let this slide. <laughs> this is, this plus a number of other reasons, I'm gonna show us why he got shit canned. Vladimir Putin, and if that's why we're there and we're killing a lot of Ukrainians as pawns, in a proxy war between between two great powers. Here's one last thing I would say. Nobody talks about this. There's 14,000 Ukrainian civilians who have died, but 300,000 troops. The Russians are killing Ukrainians at a seven to one to eight to one ratio. Yep, yep. They cannot sustain correct. this. What we're being told about this war is just not true. A hundred percent correct. They're being massacred. They're being totally slaughtered. Like by by the hundreds by the thousands daily daily Ugh. people say nothing good comes out of war but it is so-called elites are like they need war because that's their bread and butter war is big business it's a racket it's a racket you have to keep the forever war going because you have to keep greasing the palms of the quote unquote elite. That's the video, guys. Highlight your boy. Like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff. Catch you on the next one.